Hi, we'll be now starting with the models of operating system obviously on the basis of design principles or design objectives what we have learned earlier. The first model in terms of OS design is layered architecture or also known as layered approach. As the name suggests layered approach, what are we talking about? We are talking about collection of n layers put one above another much similar to the way your TCP IP or OS or ISO is built. The basic idea of doing this is very simple. You take a layer, each layer will have its own policy and will have its own mechanism. Individually, each layer would be responsible for handling policy and mechanism mapping. When put together, each layer, let's call it A, layer B, layer C, the services provided by layer B would be used by both the layers A as well as by the C. Similarly, whenever A is providing certain services would be used by B and whatever service provided by B would be used by C. The basic advantage of layered architecture is Number one, ease of creation. What do you mean by ease of creation? Simple. We will be designing the entire operating system layer by layer, giving the biggest advantage is to handle the basic policy and mechanism one at a time manner. Second thing, it is easy to test and incorporate. So working with two basic advantages, ease of creation and ease of testing and incorporating OS, layered architecture was no matter, layered architecture was initially the biggest thing one can think about. The idea was fairly simple, implementing OS step by step, working with a separate and individual policies which are interrelated but handling different mechanisms. The system was fairly popular in 90s. Even with the system being popular, we had certain disadvantages. The system had a biggest drawback or the biggest disadvantage was the efficiency. Obvious first thing to come in mind should be, we earlier said ease of creation, ease of tests and incorporation, then why efficiency was the negative factor. It is simple. More the manier, but sometimes more the manier simply means more trouble. Handling n layers together, their intercommunication, service of one layer being used by another layer created serious efficiency issues and also serious communication issues. It won't be wrong if we are saying that the efficiency dropped down because of the heavy communication that each layer was doing with its layer above it or below it, creating one major disadvantage, efficiency falling, throughput falling and higher delay. So together, what we mean? Yes, layered approach was initially one of the best option to work with, but it had its own issues. It had an efficiency issue, it had a communication issue and due to both it had a high delay in terms of making or in terms of operating anything. 